bounce back win. Uh, like I uh, asked the guys, extra innings. How does this one feel for you? Uh, great. I mean, it's been a while, so it's nice to get off the schneid a little bit. But for the guys, I mean, even yesterday, these are really tough games, tight games, pretty much from the first batter till the to the last batter. So um, anytime you can pull one out, I feel like even is a good place in this series because both teams have deserved to win and lose both games. But um, uh, you know, you talk to Yerby and Mario, but we wouldn't be anywhere in this game without Chu. Um, he, like I said yesterday. Uh, Jesse and Shu give us a great chance every time for the most part, and he battled his butt off. Our bats never got going today. You know, a lot of games you would just fall apart there, but he just kept us there, and then Yerby was phenomenal for his best outing since he's been a Don. So just all around, using 13 different players, I believe, off the bench. We had to use every, almost everybody we had. So a great team win. Uh, yesterday you mentioned you felt like two runs could win it. felt like that kind of again today. Do you think it's just offensively a little – low in the, in the season, you know, just fatigue or something you can bounce back and, and fix pretty quickly? Nah, it's hard to pinpoint. I think they're pitching really well. <laughs> it's, the pitcher on the mound kind of determines a lot of days how your offense is going to go. They're doing a good job of controlling our running game and what we try to do there. We just haven't had the right people on to start innings where we can create something. But we're trying. The first inning, we had a hit and run that we fouled off. Two pitches later, we hit it right to where it would have been vacated. I mean, these are little things that we didn't really execute today. We had multiple chances uh, to just put a ball in play, get a bunt down, steal a base, all of those things that sometimes it makes your offense look a lot better if two or three of those get through and you created three or four more runs. But I got to give credit to their pitching. They're doing a really good job pitching us well, and at least we're fighting in there. He didn't start today, but you turned to him in a, in a crucial situation. Just talk about Matty Thomas and the trust you have him. Yeah, he's really come along. I mean, he is a great teammate, great person. Anyone who knows him says the same thing about him, his energy level. You wouldn't know if it's the first game of the year, last game of the year, if he is starting, never played a game. We're down 10, up 10. He's always the same. Um, so it's really nice when people get rewarded and for, for just sticking with us and believing with us. And he's 100% on board with everything we're trying to do as a coaching staff. So when he does something positive, um, it's just you just feel so much happy for people like that. But um, yeah, came off the bench. He uh, he was a little sore this morning, so we gave him a little bit of break. And I, you could probably see it. He got that pinch hit off the bench, and it was you know hard for him to get out of the box. Um, but that's the competitor he is. He had a tougher at bat his second time with a chance to win the game. But um, you could live and die with guys like Maddie. You know they're giving you everything they got. Mentioning the two guys that we, we brought in here post game, starting out with Ryan Yerby, five shutter I mean, he's, he's kind of bounced back and forth between his starter and the bullpen. Just to talk about his efforts. He's that guy, he just kind of. He says, you know, he just wants the ball. He's a grad transfer. Last year he's ever going to get to play baseball. Um, I don't think he'd care if he was starting tomorrow again. Like, he just wants to play <laughs> his last year of baseball, have some fun and compete. Um, he's a Division three transfer. So playing in this level of a game where he, kn he now knows he can compete at is awesome. But um, I kind of made that change this week. We, we've been keeping Sundays as a TBD in case we didn't use Yerby because um, he feels comfortable in that starter role. But we've lost some games late, and I feel like he gives us a really good chance at the end. And today was his best performance. He still he puts guys on when a few walks gets deep into counts, but you can see his competitiveness out there. And he wasn't afraid of contact today. And he, he was in some trouble there with guys on, and he really didn't phase him. And then he made that. He made two great defensive plays, the comebacker, and then the pop-up that was kind of just hanging there forever that he ended up catching. So. Um, he's had ups and downs, but um, to me, he's someone, again, I can trust with the ball in his hand because I know he's given me everything he's got. Mario's not, not the most vocal leader, but seems to kind of be focused when he's between the lines, either offensively or defensively. What does it mean to have a leader like him, not only at shortstop or fourth third base on the left side of the infield, but at the top of the lineup as well? Yeah, his leadership skills are more of the I'm going to do it this way, follow me mentality, kind of lead by example. Now I'm trying to express to him how I think it'd be a lot more valuable if he raised his voice. Um, I, I feel anyone can. To me, leadership, if you do everything we ask you to do, you play the game hard, you live up to the standards of the program, then no matter who you are, you've earned the right to speak up when someone else is not living up to the standards. And he's getting there. But as far as his play on the field, he's earned the right to do anything in the leadership department because he plays the game as hard as he can, no matter what, knows how to handle the ups and downs. And it's really fun. You know, for a coach when you know the people that are giving you everything they got all bought in are the reason we win a game late. And I mean, it couldn't be more fitting that it was Harris and Mario that kind of sparked it and won it for us um, on the offensive side in the bottom half of the last inning because they're two people I believe are doing everything we ask them to do. 
This late in the season, every conference game is crucial. You got a chance to win another series tomorrow. What does it take to, to secure that? Yeah, right now, I mean, winning's hard, as you can see. I mean, every game you're fighting tooth and nail. Um, they're in the mix for a top spot in the playoffs, so they're fighting tooth and nail. I mean, no one's going to give anything to you no matter what. We try not to focus on standings or records. We are obviously in the bottom of our conference as far as playoffs right now, but we can't worry about that. It's out of our control. All we can do is show up tomorrow ready to go and try and win a game. But hopefully our guys are learning what it takes to win, how hard it is to win, and to enjoy them when it do, because it's really hard. You should take nothing for granted against really good opponents, such as the one we're playing this weekend.